Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Skippy Eye campaign in Rome Total War Remastered. And we are starting to turn the tide against these darn chariots, uh, but we haven't really found a very effective counter yet to them. Uh, so we're going to continue trying to do that. We're going to continue trying to get an effective counter. And I think it's really charging your cavalry into them, taking away their hit points with the charge. And maybe charging again, cycle charging. I think we're ready to go with this army. Everywhere else looks like we are moving. Apart from Sardis. But let's see whether Pontus fancies attacking us again. That would be excellent. Rather than going and attacking them ourselves. Um, now of course I've been looking a little bit at the unit stats and all this stuff. And the legionary cohorts basically just have a bit less attack than the Praetorians themselves. So I think because of the two turn limit on the Praetorians, we're gonna go mainly for the other ones, for the legionaries everywhere we can. Just because they train a little bit faster, they're a little bit better to use. And you know, it takes a double the time to, to uh, recruit all these Praetorians compared to the uh, legionaries. So we'll probably move towards legionaries as we go forward. Uh, of course, the Praetorians over here are probably a good option because we're not in any rush to get that second army up and running. Really, we need to wait for the horses to be done and then we can get that army moving. Uh, but I think that's everything apart from these guys. Now, who is the best general? This guy's a good attacker, but he's also very good management. Uh, Balbus, Marcus, Scipio, Gatekeeper... I think we probably go with two generals in this army. He's a faction heir as well, so there's a very decent amount of attack, uh, amount of units. Um, go for the archers next. Let's get those guys in. Let's get the horses. We don't need to go with a full six because we've got two generals. So let's go with as many uh, Praetorians as we can. And then, of course, you guys. And then let's see how many we can fit. Okay, not all of these guys. I think that's a pretty decent army, if you ask me. Very nicely ready to go. These guys can carry on. Uh, we'll get you guys on the boat. And we're going to send these boys over to Anatolia. I'm not sure quite where yet. Probably up here, um, if we can, towards Pergamum. Get them going all the way over there, and we should be good. But I believe we're at the end turn now, so let's press that. Splitting the troops, of course. Pontus spying on us. The fools. There's two spies there. You can spy if you want, bro. Oh, he managed to get in. Hmm. Oh, well. No problem. Rioting in Thebes still. Thebes is just so unhappy, bro. They're just con constantly unhappy. I'm pretty sure we exterminated them as well. We are the... Ooh, the strongest faction. That's very nice. We should take a look at our faction rankings at some point soon. Masana got Rhodes. Let's... Uh, ooh, we don't really want population growth too much in Masana. Syracuse, you're building that. Carolus upgraded. Let's go for money. We are not doing amazing on money. So let us keep on going with what we can for money. Let's go for the Scriptorium over here in Carthage. Try and get some better traits with our boys. Demidi. Uh, let's go for that. Kaidonia. Let's go for that. Rhodes. Let's go for the Aqueduct, probably. Just to get that better population growth and bonus. I need to keep training you boys here at Carthage and Nova. Uh, you know what? Let's get some good walls here. Just for good defences. Right, let's see whether we can... Oh, we can't quite make it look to Cordoba. Hmm, that is annoying. Could go and try and attack these boys. What do they have? Pretty trash, really. Do they have any bull warriors? Uh, no. Oh, we should shred them, then. Oh, we can't reach them either. Well, that's annoying. That is very annoying. But over here, we're just waiting for this cavalry to be done. And then we can get moving. Um, how many? We've got one unit here already. Do we have two units? 
three with these guys. Uh, you guys, we'll just disband you. We don't need you anymore. Uh, disband. Yep, yeah, disband. Yeah, it's fantastic. Very nice. Let's get these guys in then, ready to get retrained. A lot of people can get retrained still, which is fine. Let's have a look over here at how many people they have in Petra. Oh, Jesus, a lot. So let's bring him over to deal with them. Captain Cornelius, you can go stand over there. You can join the siege as well, my friend. We'll probably use you as sacrificial lambs in the siege, I guess you could say. What do they have? Have some cavalry. Let's go with that. Just, I can only see cavalry. As long as they don't have any chariots, then, you know, we're looking good. But, of course, they probably will. Because they are bastards. They are bastardly Egyptians who love the chariots. Which is very annoying. Right, over here in Sardis. What do we want to do? Fucking chariots again. I think we wait one more turn. They generally do have a lot of armies around these areas. So, we need to wait until this cavalry is done, really. Um, although, do we not have a boat? Yes, we do. Right, we'll get these guys off, and then when these guys are done, we should have a decent enough army to assault them. We need those cavalry to push on, I would say. Just because of those chariots, bro. They, they just route everything, as you've seen. They route everything for fun. It is crazy how good they are on this uh, difficulty in terms of routing people. So, is that everything this turn? Already? Wow. Next turn, then. Quick turns. Quick maths, bro. Quick maths. No, stop spying on me, bro. I mean, no, don't spy on me anymore. Fool. Ooh, sounds like we have some generals coming of age. No. I guess not, then. Oh, no, we do. Herennius Scipio. So he's out here in Thapsus. And Flavius Scipio. Oh, in Capua, which we already have... Secundus in as well, so we need to... No Senate officers! Come on, bro! I need my guys to have good influence. That's silly, bro. Alright, let's get you guys over towards Pergamum. Right, so what should we do with these boys? Flavius and Secundus. Secundus is a very good governor. We want to get them out, really. I want Flavius to start leading an army, if he can, as soon as possible. So let's start recruiting some troops over here. We'll retrain you boys. Uh, let's go for legionary cohorts here. Thapsus, what can you recruit? Let's go for legionary cavalry here. Actually, we only need to do two of them because we can get two in Lily Bayum. Uh, yep, two legionary cavalry there. Masana, we can recruit some legionary cohorts. Syracuse, anywhere we can recruit archers. I think it might just be up here. How about in Thapsus? Yes, we can do it in Thapsus. So we need that as well. And we'll get Flavius another army ready to go. That may even be the army that starts the civil war, to be honest. But probably not. Um, Thieves, they got Roman cavalry as well. Thieves is just so unhappy, bro. Like, genuinely so unhappy. Uh you can actually get in there, can't you? Do we have a general out here? We have a uh, Titus. How unhappy are they now? 10% less. Um, not great. You go stand with them. We should get all these guys out, actually. Uh, get you guys in to get your upgrades. You guys in as well. And what we should probably do now is start recruiting as many peasants as we can in Thebes. Uh, in Thebes. Retrain you boys. And let's get ready to go. We should do that soon. Well, let's see what they have over there soon as well. So that army is ready to go. This army is on the move. We need some ships. Probably do these two ships actually. I'll take you up to Capua. Pick up these boys. Drop one off at 
Uh, who do we not have a governor for? Go on for Syracuse. We'll get a governor for Masana as well, seeing as it's a large city. Um, and Flavius can bring himself over here as well. So we've got you. We've got Pontus over here. Bring you guys up. I think we wait a turn. If they want to attack us again, that would be fantastic. I'd really, really appreciate it, boys. Um, just because it's a lot easier, a lot better to deal with. So we have Petra to deal with. We have Seleucia. So let's go for the battle for Petra first. Looks like we're going to shred them. But we're going to try and use all those trash troops first. Uh, just to soak up as much of the damage as possible before we send our crack troops in. On top of that, we can't retrain them or anything, so it really doesn't matter what we do with them. Uh, as long as they die, I guess. Um, it's better for them to die rather than stay alive. So let's get rid of them. Let's hear the old speech of the captain as well, rather than a general this time. So it should be shorter. Generally, I think they're shorter. Um, but I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. Eventually when it loads. <laughs> Which it's not doing right now. But it will. Yeah, there we are. Come on, bro. You can, you can load. You can load. But yeah, these chariots, man. On this difficulty, as you have seen, shred our troops like... Even post Mariam, decent troops that, are, that have really good morale get shredded and break with the chariots, which is crazy. There stands the army of the Egyptian pharaoh, worthy foes to a man. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. There are more of them than there are of us. So be it. We will fight like lions instead of men. We are lacking in spearmen today, and the many enemy horsemen may make life a little hectic if we are not careful. Last time I fought those men, we were unlucky. It is now time to take revenge for that defeat and teach them to fear us anew. The seer has been consulted but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. Another one of our armies is nearby and ready to fall upon the enemy. So, let your battle cry be victory! Victory and glory to Rome! Ah, okay. I hope... I really hope I haven't put that other army on AI control because that would be... An absolute nightmare of a scenario. But, oh well, we will see. Have our equites. Okay, good, go good, good job we didn't. So they bring rams, that'd be nice. What are you? Three units. They are pretty damaged, aren't they? You guys can be on it. Do they bring rams? They do bring rams, but not quite yet. These archers could be of very good use, in fact. So, let's bring you round. Praetorians as well. Bring you. Yeah, you're not going to be in range. We'll bring the general and the cavalry, of course. Decent legionary cavalry. Let's have a look at these boys. With silver armor upgrades... Looking very swanky. Very powerful unit. Of course, the darn chariots. Uh, you know, cavalry actually come up here, away from their blooming people. Yeah, these archers are going to be invaluable. We need them to get going as soon as they can. Our soldiers are at the gates. Now they must batter a way through. Our soldiers are at the walls. Come on, boys. Now they must batter a way through. Don't walk forward. Those chariots are still going to be annoying, though. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. 
Right, now you're out here, you should be good. Bring you around here. We've only got two units of actual infantry, good infantry. So, get you guys out here. You're still fresh. Good stamina. Very good stamina. Oh, that, uh, that, that tower can actually fire at us from over there. Weird. Don't think we'll be able to fire on the men, though. Order your men on to victory. Are you guys not on fire at will? Should be firing. Why do you not fire? Here they come, the archers. Let's bring them forward, I'd probably say. They should be quite tired now. They are tired, but they'll still fire their arrows fine. There's not going to be a problem with that. Oh, yeah, fire at will, guys. Don't worry about that. Put you on guard mode, and I would like you to shoot the Bedouin archers. Yep, yeah, and the Arab cavalry if you can. Right, we need to protect these boys, so let's get you in. You might rout with the cavalry, though, that's one problem. Bring you guys in as well. Get in a good position. Our Enemy have walls the have been captured. Fantastic. Time to press on and capture this place. Get these guys here. If they would. Cavalry forward. Ready to react. Some Praetorians in reserve. And uh, of course my Equitate General can come in. We're going to charge these desert cavalry into us. Oh, they still knocked down a couple of troops, bro. Shoot and kill them, for God's sake. Yeah, nice. Prinker plays, let's go. Get in there. Uh, do you know what? Get in there. Apart from uh, you guys, sorry. Uh, do we want you to come around this way? Not really. You can just protect. So we only really need you two units. You guys up here. Grind fest time. Just break through these guys. You should break them. No one should break you guys. Come on. Breaking them all. Let's go, boys. Now, we've just got to worry about those chariots. Where are they? I see some chariots here. Egyptian chariots, let's go. Fire your peeler into them. Doing well, boys. The best you've ever performed, I would say. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Now they're routing. Now they go. Now they break. Uh so what do we do? General probably would be a good option here. We've only got two left. As long as he doesn't die, <laughs> which he might do. Yeah, now they route. Let's rally these boys if we can. Oh, we can't. Broke those boys. Right, get out. Astarte, come in. We'll have to use the Praetorians from now on. It looks very much like we do. Okay, he just wants to keep on going, doesn't he? Let's kill a desert axeman. Killed them all now, basically. Now we just need to worry about these boys. Little bit of troops left. General, bro. General, come on, bro. Why are you not listening to me, bro? Don't want you fighting phalanxes. Still got a good, decent range, haven't they? That's why these archers are so much better. They've got a really good range. General, General come here. Come on, boys. It's so messy, these siege battles. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this grind first. Let's go. Praetorians. 
Get you back here if we can. Uh, they've not got much left, have they? Fortunately for them. They've got this Nile Spearman over here, which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. Uh, but yes. They break in. Because of that one chariot, see? One chariot breaks them, bro. One single chariot. Let's go then, Praetorians. They still lost a couple of troops, those Praetorians, which is shocking, really. Let's go. Come on, Praetorians. Fire you. I don't get why they don't fire their peeler as well. They, like, run into the fight first. Like, firing your peeler would be better, bro. And just doing this. Oh my god, the Hastati broke as well. Haha! <laughs> Classic. What are these? Better than archers. We lost a few Praetorians in this fight. Let's bring the general through. It's one poor desert guy. Let's go. Come on, General, let's go. They might run these Bedouins, but... Oh, well. Killed them all. Ah, stop speeding, stop speeding up. General. General, let's get out. General, let's get out. I said not run through them. You fools. He's going to die here, isn't he? He's going to die. Oh, my God, he's going to die. Oh, fucking hell. That was hellish. Hellish maneuvering. How did you not die, bro? Look at he got out first, didn't you? They haven't got their phalanx formation, so we should do well. Ah, the Praetorians got beaten up a little bit, actually. Which is surprising. They're not on very hard, bro. They're, they're not that strong. It's, it's kind of scary how weak they are. Need some of them juicy urban cohorts, don't we? Maybe I should have got that building in Carthage. We'll have a look when we get off the siege map. They killed 425, but it was mainly the poor army that we don't need to worry about. Uh, Legionary cavalry. Yep. Arch auxilia doing bits. Well done. Praetorian's doing okay. Well, some of this has started did better than that Praetorian unit, but oh well. Uh, they did get a mass route, I guess, at the start. They... Uh, Hastati, so they got to kill a lot of troops there. But yeah. Yeah, it's uh, interesting anyway. Interesting. Well, those chariots, man. They, oh, they ruin your, your units and destroy their morale. They're just OP as hell. So if we can get our archers to fire on them, that will be the most important thing. We might have even lost a couple of archers there, to be fair, uh, when that chariot charged through. But I don't know. If the chariots do something stupid, like stop, like we can easily kill them because our troops can run in and attack them. But if they do their special attack, bro, it, it's this, it's just and it's just game over. It's just the end. <laughs> They're just rout. Like no tomorrow. Yeah, it's crazy. Also, were you load game or, or what? Why are you being so slow today, bro? Come on, man. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I am really enjoying the support. We're getting on the channel now. It is amazing. It's so much better than uh, you know, uploading videos for two people. Uh, for the two views on the video. But, you know, so I'm just hoping we can grow even more so we can get this content out to even more people. Petra can get exterminated. Look at these guys. They are mashed up. That to me is a decent enough force. What do you have? Oh my god. Bro. Yeah, good. I was going to say they better not inflict any casualties on me. Well, let's go for Jerusalem. See, if they come at me with two armies and both of those armies have their uh, people in, it's going to be hard work. Um, Carthage, yeah. Oh, we've done all that. We've not done the construction, though. So, Palma could go for even more boats. Thebes. Thebes, they need happiness is the main thing. 
But we need to get the market to get the arena. Serta. Let's go for a bigger dockyard again. Kyrene, Governor's Palace. Very nice. Um, uh, let's go for a bigger shipwright as well. Get all this trade going crazy. Uh, Aqueduct in Corinth. Sparta. Ooh, Sparta unhappy now. Let's go for the Bass. That's an easy way to get another 5%. Demarta. Let's go for the highway so we can move a bit quicker. What's going on up here? Can we get any more? Ooh, we can get more mercenaries. I just want to see what they have. One unit of chariots. Oh, Jesus. How long, though? Eight turns. I don't think we'll do it this turn. I think we'll wait for those chariots to get a bit diminished. How are we looking in Memphis? Yeah, we're doing all the retraining there. You guys have moved. Um, you guys can probably, like, just do that. Uh, I'm waiting to see what they do. If they want to attack us, that'd be excellent. If not, that's fine. Moved you. Now we've got to move you, boys. Right, let's go for these guys, I, I guess. Just one one army rather than two. Uh, it's going to be easy as hell. Stupid. I need to keep remembering the uh, the names of these generals as well. I always forget them once you're past you know, the starting generals and you start having loads of them. It does become a little bit overwhelming with the name, the amount of names of generals and all that stuff. Um, so it's just trying to remember them and remembering the different characters. It's easy in Divide and Conquer because, you know, the generals feel sort of unique and interesting, especially your unique generals. Um, but like in Rome where you just start, you know, once you, your original people have died off, it's a lot harder. But let's listen. Make sure that yours isn't among them, and all will be well. Battle now awaits us! Over there stand the Spanish. They make a fine show in the field, and are worthy enemies for us. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? They have been whipped to the battlefield like cattle for slaughter. The balance of numbers favors us, I see. This is good. I do not believe in giving the enemy an easy time. They have an advantage if they take the high ground, but we are not men to be worried by such a little thing. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours, as much as mine. This morning, an eagle circled the camp three times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today. Hey. If I'm not mistaken, this is the uh, this is the guide, Publius the Lewd. He's not said anything lewd yet, though. What hill are you talking about, bro? It's not really much of a hill. I guess it's a hill if you're, you know, wearing full plate armor. But let's just shoot these guys, you know. You guys, this left side. You guys, this right side. He's a he's a terrible governor this boy this boy. Um I've forgotten what you do. Is it alt? Yeah, there we are. Let's move you guys there. I've not really used that because I don't really use the uh I don't really play the modern the modern games that much. Let's get here and start shooting these guys. Iberian infantry, trash. Round shield cavalry are going to come in, aren't they? They're exposed right now. I think we, out of safety, move you guys behind. Are you guys all on fire at will? Yes, you are. Which is excellent. Go, 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 for God's sake. Let's come. Oh my God, why don't you run? 
You imbeciles! Oh, we've shredded that unit. Yeah, the gods they will die. The nice one. General with fear. Now he flees the field like a All right, cavalry, you've done your good work already. You guys, halt. All right, boys, let us move forward with a vengeance. The Spanish took your rightful land, my friends. Now you must make them pay for what they have done. They might withdraw this, you know. Oof, this is going to be brutal. Look at that charge. Right, cavalry, now let's get out. Let's get out before the infantry get involved. Come on, Romans. It's your day to shine, my friends. Your day to shine. Let's go. Let's get these guys who are routing. Let's pick them off. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cavalry in. You guys can actually get these skirmishes if you want. Off. They are just routing like no tomorrow. They're all going to route now, aren't they, as well? Let's go, boys. Let's go. Get into those skirmishes. Kill these skirmishes. How many have we killed? 50% so far. Kill that Iberian infantry. He's going to route very soon. Oof, you guys, you guys took a beating, didn't you? Oh well, it was all worth it. Come on guys, what are you doing, bro? Go after them. Why are you like not actually charging down the unit? I don't get it. Right guys, let's see who we got. This side didn't take a beating at all. Because they used them more sensibly. Roman Cavalry, you're supposed to be fast moving, bro. So prove it, please. Killed them all yet? Yeah, nice. Well done, boys. Lost 31, killed 700. It's a lot easier when you don't have to deal with chariots. 104. These guys didn't actually kill anyone, really. Trash. Well done. Archer's doing a decent damage as well. Very good. Very good. The poor Spanish. They don't know what's hit them. You declared war on us, bro. You, we were allies and you still could go north against Gaul and you chose to declare war on us. So we will take our vengeance. We will take our vengeance, I promise you. This is what's called the great chariot, uh, the great charge of the cavalry. If we can charge them with all our cavalry in this, uh, in this one. <laughs> we just need to kill the general. I believe that's the faction air as well, so... Let's listen to Publius's speech again, shall we? The Spanish who face us today are terrible and unnatural in war and in victory. They are cruel. Cruel beyond measure to those they defeat. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. The count of our warriors will show you who is truly favored by the gods. It is not our foes. They may take the high ground, but why should this help a bunch of slack-jawed idiots like them? Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. This morning we took the auspices. And the liver has seldom been so clear. This is most wonderful. A triumphant outcome to our battle is guaranteed. And now, to arms! Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all we can do for her. Then we will do our duty to Roman honor! It's good to know that we are now, you know, the, uh, the strongest faction. I believe they'll probably go up that hill. So we'll come as well. We'll keep a thick fat formation. They don't have much infantry. Um, get off skirmish mode, bro. Get you guys. Bring you up here. Are you just going to withdraw? You can't just withdraw, bro. You 
can't actually withdraw. Probably going to charge us with a general as soon as we get near. Peasants, I... Scutari, I... Oh, they're an okay unit. Not brilliant, but they're okay. Um... Yeah. Should be well within range up there. You know what? You guys actually stand here. Good luck, bro. Fire at will. I don't care about these uh, Scutari and that. Let's move past them. What, where was that other unit? They had another unit. Yeah, he's up there hiding to kill that general. Skirmishers hiding in the woods. What are those peasants doing, bro? Annoying me, that's what they're doing. Oof, that charge did not do much damage. Should start shredding them now, though. Kill those Peltas. Peltas are probably going to kill more of their own general if they start firing into us. Come on! Kill him! He's an armoured bodyguard, which is annoying, but... You know what? You need to get in there as well. Get in there, legionaries. I care about your javis. Let's just do it. Just get in there. Okay, he's broken now. Kill them, for God's sake. Is there king? Yes, there we are. Fantastic. They are not running yet. Uh, guys, guys, you've got a battle to finish. You guys there as well. You 12 and you 48. I'm not going to risk my general. I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to risk him charging peasants anymore. <laughs> that might not actually be enough to kill them all. Oof, yeah, they're going to survive, unfortunately. Well done, archers. Archers, these archers are decent, bro. So that Roman cavalry doing well, 50, but of course, um, armor general only five, but he, he's obviously slower than a Roman cavalry, so he doesn't get into the fight quite as quick. But that charge on his general did hardly any damage, bro. Like hardly any. It's not that strong. Now, yes, and we can siege it down this turn. Where's that spy of ours? Let's go have a look. See if he's got anyone coming. Got this army, but not much. There's Scalabus. Not very defended. Minor city, though. We go for Scalabus next. Oh, hello. Uh, honestly think like a couple of early legionary cohorts could do a good job in a siege against these guys. This is the problem with Spain, though, bro. Oh, my God, Julia. What are you doing? Them and the Bruti. The Bruti had about five armies here before. They still have not taken Larissa. They are struggling, bro. That's good for us, though. The weaker they are, the better that we, uh, that we will become. Now that we've sieged down Cordoba, though, they might, you know, try and come and uh, retake Cordoba. Publius the Lude. Has he got any better traits now? He sees trash. Dubious, wildly extravagant, lewd, strict. Uh, two law, which I guess is okay. A drill master, which is plus one to law. Minus two morale, though, which is trash. Uh, outstanding speaker. No. He is just bad, though, bro. Like, he is bad at everything. Like, he's bad in battle. He's bad, you know, in nearly everything else. Like, he's bad at management. He has no influence. He is shocking. Right, then, let's end the turn. Don't think we've got anything more to do. See where the Pontus attack us. That would be quite nice. No, they have not. Interesting. Let us end the bloodshed. Scythia, why are we at war with you? Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, okay. I, I think so. I think we will accept this. Um, but yeah, I've just got to do one quick thing. But yeah, I think we will accept this because, you know, there's no point us being at war with them. Uh, yeah. So let's let's do it. Let's do it. Our thanks. What about trade rights? Map information for map information. I do want to... What do you consider? Yeah. 
Uh, whatever. Oh, like you having my map information makes no difference because you are a, uh, an AI, so you can see all my settlements and know where all my armies are at all times anyway. So, you know, <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh, we've got two armies now. They have. Wish we had a spy out here. Do we have a spy? Oh, we do. We've got two spies. Let's go see. We've got one unit of chariots. The rest of it's pretty trash. The Sarmatian mercenaries are very decent, to be fair. One horse archer. But the rest... That infantry block is awful. Ooh, a storm at sea, hey? Not what we wanted. We need this way. <laughs> Thebes is just in, in absolute turmoil, bro. I generally think they will re uh, rebel soon, but oh well. Most advanced faction now as well. Kaiso, Scipio. Good name, good name. Carthage has done its legionary cohort training, but was that just to retrain people? I'm not sure. Uh, so let's go. Yeah, more legionary cohorts, please, in Carthage. Memphis, Tennessee. Yep, nice. So we've got another army ready to go. Sardis, Carthage, Nova, Carthage, 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 Thebes, Memphis. Yeah, all the right places. Let's do this building first, and then we can look at our armies. Okay, Lepsis Magna is pretty much nearly done. Memphis, what do we want? Probably the Forum. Um, and then Bostra. Just repair this. I don't know why it's, you know, needs repairing. Probably from the siege that it had. Let's go slow. Let's see what's in Jerusalem. Not much. Not much. You do have metal uh, walls, so that's... Uh, sorry. Stone wall. That's a good thing. Any more mercenaries? Oof, I would love some elephants to become available up there. That would be amazing. Right. Let's get Titus Memmius ready to go. You can go stand out there, bro. Do we have archers, though? That is one thing. Yes, we do. Fantastic. They're not fully upgraded, but it doesn't really matter. Um, right. The rest, we can get our Praetorians. Uh, have we got any Praetorians in here? We do. A large amount of Praetorians, actually. So very nice. Very nice units. And you guys as well, but you're not upgraded. I'm not bothered too much. Uh, and then, how many we need? Four slots for the cavalry, don't we? So, was it three more? Does it look like it, that was only one? Get in there, my friends. Yeah, and then four slots for the cavalry. Oh, five slots for the cavalry, actually. Get you back in. Five slots for the cavalry. Let's get these guys moving as well. And actually, we will move these boys as well. Get you out. Memphis, you happy? Just about, basically. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get these guys moving as well. They can be like reinforcements uh, or like go and take any shitty settlements that Egypt might have. So yeah, we're doing well in Egypt now, which is fantastic. Thapsus, why are you unhappy? Oh yeah, we've got Herennius as well. I forgot about you, Herennius, but all this looks like he might be dying soon. <laughs> Aulus, the guy who was the, uh, you know, the the massive failure at the start. But we managed to turn him around. Just excellent. You guys moving towards Pergamum. And over here, what should we do? Let's get the army together. You guys need you out here. Right, let's go for the archers first. Should they fit in? Then we'll go for the cavalry, and then we can just fill the rest with all the infantry that we have. So any Praetorians would be nice. Uh, we've got one Praetorian, one of you, and then one of you. You guys getting Sardis. Sardis is unhappy now, of course. Everywhere is unhappy. Uh, five, bro. Oof. They ran. They ran. So, guys, I think we'll do that battle. Then what other battles do we have to do? We've got this one up in Seleucia. Then we've got the one in Corduba. 
doesn't look like... Ah, he's run away. He's run away, the fool, which is great for us. So, let's do this battle against Pontus as the final battle of the episode. And then, we'll probably end the episode there and look towards doing those other two battles at the start of the next episode. Fantastic. Fantastic. It's going well. It's going well. When we get up to the Caucasus, I think we just skip out fighting Scythia. It's no point. It's a bit of a pointless fight. Out in the middle of nowhere. So then we'll probably, once we've defeated Egypt and taken the Caucasus, and probably betrayed Parthia, uh, we'll look at doing the Civil War. Today we face the men of Pontus. They are worthy enemies, but enemies nonetheless. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. So, that means that this... They've probably got four full stacks around. What we're going to do... Is we're going to have a very, very fat formation. Like, very fat. Let's deal with those chariots. And we'll try and shoot them as well. And I'm going to send out the cavalry. As well. They've got a very thin formation. But as I say, they've got some a lot of infantry that's very trash. Probably just go here, bros, actually. We don't really need you to go for further than that. Where's their chariots? Okay, they bring their chariots. Scythian mercenaries. Sarmatian mercenaries. I don't want to deal with that all at once. Fire at those chariots, please. Don't kill the Scythians. I'm not too bothered by them. Chariots, please, bros. Kill those chariots. Sarmatians, I can deal with them. Everyone else, I can deal with them. But the chariots, I cannot deal with them. They will just shred us. Like we have seen. None of them have gone down yet. Come on, guys. Okay, a couple of them have gone down. Yes. Hopefully, they run amok. What if we stick them on that? They want to flank us, look. Hello! Now they come. Make them run amok with these. That would be amazing. Can you... Yep, yeah, that's a... Unbelievable! Let's go. Just fire at will now. Fire at whoever you want, bro. There you go. Yes! Go on, chariots! Yes! Kill them all! Kill them all! Yes! Yes! That is how we defeat chariots now, guys. They are just killing their own troops. Where look at these poor Eastern mercenaries. All right, now we can kind of spread this line out. They've killed them. They've killed their own troops. Very nice. Now they have no cavalry threats. We should be absolutely fine. Let's go. Peltas will run away probably, but... Are they going to withdraw? They already withdrew. Let's go, boys. Get in there. You guys go after them. You guys after them. You guys after them, actually. Cavalry time. Let's go. Let's go to town on these boys. Take revenge for their darn chariots. Where's their general, by the way? Let's go, boys. These eastern, eastern guys are trash, bro. Oh, my God. Look at that. Great route is occurring already. Let's go here. 
Get away from those Easterns, bro. They have, they have bronze shield. Bronze shields are actually decent. You guys come around here. Get into that block. Get away, get away, get away, Roman cavalry. Need one of you, probably a couple of you guys chasing these down because we got so many just in there. Oh my god, that's it, that's it then. Done, bro. They are done. <laughs> nice. The March of the Legions has been done. Oh my days, that is brutal, bro. Legion race. We don't need you anymore. Cheer. Get into position. Um, yeah. Get you guys. Come after these. Um, nice one, boys. How did we lose there? Whew, we didn't lose that many. Looks like a hundred, but I'm guessing some of that was friendly fire. Some of these guys did take a bit of damage, like this one especially. But that's probably against the bronze shields. Bit of over exuberance. Go on, have we killed them all? Yeah, we have. Woof, that was brutal. That was brutal. 37, I'm assuming though. Yeah, that's not 37. We definitely killed a lot by friendly fire. That's probably from the javelins. Yeah, well done, boys. Legionaries. Going ham. Same as the general. Oh, that Roman cavalry. 186. And it took no casualties. Well done, boys. MVP. Give you a clap. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic result for you there. Well done. Right, let's see if we can go after these. I bet they have more chariots, though. But oh well. Right then, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. But first of all, actually, let us go through the faction ranking just quickly. We've not looked for a while. Let's go. Do we go all top five? Thing is, the top five is going to be just mainly these guys. So Egypt's in there as well. Who's an enemy for us? Let's look at Pontus. Um, who else would be of interest? Not really. Mastodon dead, right? Yeah. Um, Armenia, we're going to come against... Armenia's dead. Parthia, because we're allies with them, but we will come against them soon. Greeks are just just chilling, bro. Military ranking, we're all pretty similar. We all have a lot of armies. Germania's got the, the next most. Egypt's still got a decent amount of armies. But we've not really made it go down. We've kind of just plateaued it, uh, which is not great for us. Pontus has definitely gone down after fighting us. Production ranking, oh, we went down a lot. Uh, we've come back up very highly. Fantastic. So has Egypt, so has Julia. Bruti, I've just stayed stable. Uh, territorially, we are a lot higher. Probably on about 28, something like that, territories. Everyone else is not so great. Bruti, I'm only on like 10, which is not good. Uh, financial ranking, look at the Bruti. What have you been doing, boys? What have you been doing? <laughs> oh my days. So, so surely we're the richest faction now. Population, we're just crushing them. And overall, we are the best. So that is it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Then please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And hopefully, I'll see you again on the next video.